said, what's going on? Josh here from Polymathics. And today I wanted to do give a really quick tip on your job transition and taking a break. So this is super important and it definitely falls into the, you know, all work and no play uh, kind of category where if you're, if you are planning your job transition and let's say you've got, you, you've, signed on with an agency or a company um, and so you're set to go and you know in like three months you're gonna transition out everything's like hunky-dory you had some perfect which I don't know anybody's transition who is that perfect but let's just say that one of the things that people mistakenly do is they don't leave any buffer time between when they leave their their old job and when when they start their new job to just decompress, to just be themselves, to, to vent, to, to relax, right? Um, for those of you who have been through a transition already, or for those of you who are about to go through it, or maybe are going through it now, you know that leaving a job is very stressful. There are so many things that are weighing on you. You have your normally you have your operational supervisor or or office where you are trying to train someone to take your position, write standard operating protocols to you know to put in place for when you leave to maintain the continuity, right? Um, while also you have to worry about your administrative uh, supervision, like so your command, and then there's a tertiary set of people. Um, you know, like, uh, the people like you have doctor's appointments and, and VA assessments and all these things you have to do as you're transitioning out of the military. And the most important thing is you also have your children and your family, if you have children, but your family, everybody has family, right? You you have to still take care of them and one of the most difficult things that's going to constantly be weighing on your mind is will I make it through this transition? Will I have enough money? Will I have enough resources to provide for them, you know, during this time of uncertainty? And let me tell you, if you're watching this video, then I I get the impression that you're the type of person who takes care of your business and so you shouldn't be so hard on yourself. Though if, if you have it in your mind that you're going to take care of those things then they will get taken care of. But one of the best ways to kind of relax is to give yourself some time either at the beginning of your job transition or at the end but give yourself some time to relax before you go into your new job. Because if you go in there carrying all of that pressure and all of that weight, and then you go into a new job where now you have to learn a new sometimes skill set or you have to set up some new thing, you de you'll definitely have to, you know, interact with all kinds of new people and new protocols, pro sometimes a new culture. Those of you who are getting out of the military and transitioning to the civilian sector, I mean... It's like, it's like being a native of one continent and then being thrown into a whole nother world, right? Almost. They speak a different language. They have a different culture. And you have to acclimate to that. You have to get used to it. You have to, you know, there's so many things and that causes a lot of stress. So, and at the same time, you're going to be in processing and dealing with, um, you know, new operational and administrative commands while also still trying to keep things at bay on the home front. So take it from me, take some time off for yourself. I recommend a week, two weeks would be nice. Those of you who can afford it, a month is great. Anything more than that, you might start getting stagnant. But um, I myself, <laughs> I probably uh, just, you know, confessions here, but uh, I must have played a week straight, maybe even a week and a half of Mass Effect. Just blew through all three, 
Like, um, and it was really great to just kind of let go of any responsibility and just say, you know, this is, this is your thing. Just immerse, I immersed myself and, you know, just out of all the craziness that was going on and allowed my mind to kind of relax for a little bit. But again, don't take that to mean, you, you know, don't do it for more than a month tops because then you're going to start to go stagnant. Whether, whether you are joining another company or you're creating your own company, you know, you, you need to find some time for yourself, but you also need to get back on the wagon and you'll be the best one to decide what's the most appropriate time frame. I honestly think one to two weeks is pretty solid, um, but a month probably max. So um, anyways, I hope this has been helpful. And um, if you are planning to transition soon, you know, set aside whatever you think is appropriate and plan on that and, and make, you know, socialize that with your family and your friends that this time period, I will be doing X, Y, and Z. It may include them. It may not. It just depends on how you handle your stress. But whatever it's going to do to allow you to decompress and prepare and ramp up for this new job. Anyways, I wish the best of luck to you. Thank you for your service, and I'll catch you in later videos. Take it easy.